What's going on guys? We've got some noise in the background, but just want to welcome you to the video. Let you know where we're at. We're in Steenhatchee, Florida for scallop season. I did it for the first time last year. You can watch that video on my channel. Also, I had so much fun, but most importantly, I'm in love with the way with scallops, the way they taste. I love eating them. So I have to do this now every year because there's nothing like those little bay scallops. They're so delicious. So that's what we're doing here. We went yesterday with my mom and my uncle Mike. We had a blast. We limited out in like an hour. We're ready. Are you ready? Yep. Uncle Mike is ready. We're about to get in. See who can get the first scallop. Yep. <laughs> Blake's not getting the Who's first scallop. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? Oh, it's cold. It's not too bad. <laughs> we got one. I don't. I didn't even get it on the GoPro. I just saw it and I was like, the first one, the first one. And um, it was my mom and my uncle Mike's first time doing it too, and they had so much fun. So we had a little family day yesterday. Took them out to eat last night. Got them cooked at a restaurant. Tonight, if um, if we do cook some, I'd like to cook them ourselves because it's just you know, I think it personally think it's better that way. But I don't think. I introduced the new jet ski yet. Lewis and I bought a jet ski. It is awesome. The sea do. We love this thing. We bought it up. We found it on Amazon or uh, Facebook Marketplace, <laughs> not on Amazon. <laughs> so we're gonna go scalloping off the jet ski today. Scalloping's not hard. It's pretty easy to do, but uh, I just love the scallops and I love eating them. And there's nothing like going to catch your own food. We'll see you out in the water. Dropping the anchor. We're at the first spot.
Hey, say it like that or bend that. Don't tell me to fix it. <laughs> it dropped a freaking tall butt. <laughs> that was cool. Measure, see how many I have right here. Are we flew with combined. We can only get four gallons today, so we have a one gallon bucket to measure with. And we all we know like these are all way above the size limit, which is two inches. They're really good size ones here. We're pretty pretty impressed. So we're gonna measure how many we got now, just to make sure that we're not going over the limit. I mean, ain't that what you're supposed to do? Okay, so this is a one gallon bucket. I get two of these. So I'm going to see how many fit in this one bucket. Oh, we get to get two of those each? Yeah. Oh, sweet. I was getting sad because I thought I was already done. Yeah, see, I don't even have one gallon yet. Yeah, sweet. So Let's go get a couple more real quick. Back in the, in the bag. And yeah, you can. to keep them alive in the water. I could, I could probably fill up this bag. Yeah. And then... Ha yeah, that's what... Not half. About halfway. Yeah. Let's roll.
his first bucket measured. He's working on the cooler right now. You, the key is to put them on ice, not under ice. Underwater. Or, or, or underwater. But you want to put them on top of the ice. And then I that way, here, when you get them, when you, when you get them, uh, Right, Look at my pretty orange one. They're not all pretty and orange like that. I like the orange one. Alright, I'm gonna measure my bucket now. I know I, I only have... You filming me? Yeah, hold it so it don't spill. Call that a bucket or? Yeah. All right. There you go. I guess that's a bucket. I found a live wow. lightning bolt. He's alive in there. I don't want to keep him out of the water for too long, but. Yeah, look at him. He's out. He's cool. He's coming out. Yeah. Wow, yeah, that's pretty. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So that snail makes that shell. Yeah. All right. Last year I saw a live tulip snail show and I didn't get him on video and I wish I did. So I'm glad I found him. Got him on video. Right here. Okay. We're starting with wetting the surface. Rinsing them all. Rinsing the, yeah, yeah we, well, we wet, good. we get the surface all wet so that we have a nice, clean, wet surface to work on. And then, we got these from the dollar oh, store. Perfect. Yeah, so when you put oh, them on. We got it all, look. Yep, yep. When you put them on top of ice, they'll open like this, which makes it a lot easier to clean them. When you're, when they're shut like this, you gotta kinda dig in there and pry it open a little bit so it requires a little more effort. A little orange one. But the key is to put them on top of ice, not ice on top of them. So, I mean, we had them on ice, but they all of them, a lot of them seem closed. They look like that, they're open. All right, let's get it going. All right, so you have, typically we notice there's a white side of the scallop and a dark side. We learned that you should start with the dark side up. But first, I gotta pry this one open because he's closed. So, you can see this one is already open. It's a lot easier to clean. So, dark side up. Get your knife. We have this nice curve. We, we bought it straight and we curved it. Take the curved part of the knife and come up and try to kind of stay against the shell so you can scrape off the muscle from the top. So, what you do after you pry the meat from one side of the shell, the dark side up, you, the, you'll you feel it release. This The shell comes apart and you can just tear it off and throw it away. Then you come in with your knife parallel to the bottom of the shell, as you see me doing, and get all the guts from behind. So, the piece of meat is that little white part in the middle. And once you you get your knife behind all those guts, you pinch it with your thumb and pull downwards and it should come off really clean. Since we had those scallops rinsed with that warm water, I think something happened and the meat wasn't coming, or the guts weren't coming off as clean as they were previously. I do have other videos cleaning them, so I'll have to throw them in somewhere, but there is the little piece of meat there. You, you should be able to get it off pretty clean once you get those guts out. And then just do the same thing that you did with the top of your knife, scrape against the shell, kind of like you're filleting a fish, and get all that meat off the shell, and there you go. Keep them in a little bag. Make sure you keep those on ice as well if you're cleaning them outside because it's hot outside and the meat likes to stay cold and cool. So keep the meat nice. And here then I start showing you how to start from a closed shell. So you gotta, it is definitely nice to have a thinner knife 
to be able to get in between the two shells and wedge it open. Once you're able to wedge it open a little bit, you can hold it apart with your thumb and that will hold it open just enough for you to get your knife in there to do the whole process all over again. Scrape the top, get really they get your knife really close to the shell so you get a good clean scrape and get all of the meat. See, no meat's left on the shell. And then I think this one the guts come off a little bit cleaner on this one. No. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to put in a better video of me cleaning these uh scallops that for some reason those guts were not coming off very easily that day okay so i found a much better clip this is lewis and i cleaning our limit from i think the third day we went out three days on this trip so here is a much better example of getting behind all of those guts at the top there with your knife pinching it and then pulling it downwards it comes off pretty clean. I had a little bit of trouble with that one sticking, but it should scrape right off. And there's your little scallop. Scrape it off and put it in the bucket. All right, so we're here in Sinachi. We're cleaning our scallops. Foster is so nice. He's here helping us clean our scallops. And he has a YouTube channel. It's, let's say what's your name? FD Athlete. FD Athlete, I'll put it on the screen right here. So go check out his channel. He's super cool. He's from Alabama, right? We're getting through him. We're almost done. But definitely go check out his channel. He's really cool. So Lewis and I are back at the condo. We just got finished, well, we, cl we finished cleaning our scallops around, what was it, 9.30? We started talking with the grandpa and his grandson next to us, and they were so nice. The grandson, he helped us clean our scallops. He did an amazing job, and we just ended up having a good conversation with them for a while. So we finally got back to our room. We're just kind of uh, putting things away and organizing and stuff. And now we're going to try to cook some scallops. Lewis is going to cook them in some bacon grease and butter. Or wait, no, we don't have butter. Yeah. Bacon Just bacon grease, grease, salt and pepper. Bacon grease, salt and pepper. We're going to go to about five. Get it rolling pretty good. You want them to sizzle more when you put yeah. them on? That's good. You don't want to overcook them, I know that. They're coming out again. Yeah, I don't like a ton of that kind of pepper. It's kind of make the stomach feel really good. Yeah, it's not that good. And then you have the bacon right here. Yeah. What are you going to do? Crumble it up? That ought to be enough, huh? Yeah. Mm, they're gonna turn like solid white. You need to be flipping the crowd, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you can't flip them in the middle. You just gotta, you just gotta them right. yeah, you just gotta just kinda squish them around like eggs, like scrambled eggs. Kind of flip them individually after, you know? I mean, it's a lot to flip individually. So, he added some little bacon crumbles. It looks so good. They're so good. It's really good. Mm. 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 These things are freaking good.